like many today, I googled the Spokane Air Quality Report and came up with a couple of websites. So the first one I saw was the Spokane Clear Air Agency, now giving me a number. Then Air Now has very similar data. Even the Washington State um, Department of Ecology has a website. Their website crashed earlier this morning. So three websites, who can I trust? It actually turns out that all three websites are using the same data from monitoring systems run by the Spokane Clear Air Agency in the Spokane area. Seven monitoring stations are located throughout Spokane County, just like this one, on top of Broadway Elementary School in the Valley. When the Washington State Department of Ecology website is not crashed, you will notice that the numbers look different than what is reported on the Spokane Clean Air Agency. Although the data is the same, they use the Washington Air Quality Advisory. Both use color-coded categories to show when air quality is good, moderate, or unhealthy. But the difference is that the WAQA shows the health effects of pollutants at lower levels than the AQI does. I spoke to Mark Rao earlier today from the Clean Air Agency who noticed a glitch in Air Now system. Automatically determined that the levels were too high, therefore they must be wrong. So, but they, they, in actuality, the pollution levels were that high. He did contact Air Now and says that both sites should be running the same data. So, to sum it all up, all three websites do have accurate information and are giving hour-by-hour hour air quality reports. Now, they do report the highest level that they found out of the seven stations in Spokane to ensure that the public takes the proper precautions. Reporting in the newsroom, Dana Marie McNichol, Crumb 2 News.